The Eastman family has been hunting mule deer in this area for nearly 20 years now, and somewhere along the way, we seem to have developed a friendly family rivalry to see who can take the biggest buck. So far, my dad Mike and my brother Ike are tied with a couple of wins each, and this year's winner is anyone's guess. The western Wyoming weather is beginning to change quickly. With a small cold front pushing through the region, Mike and Ike are hoping the big bucks will be on their feet just a little bit longer. Now let's check in with Mike and see if he's having any luck turning up a big buck. In the wars, you can barely see his antlers. He's right, there's a buck in front of him feeding. The buck in front of him turns and looks this way. He's kind of in the bottom of that wash. I ain't too sure they're not gonna lay down right there. I got a buck over here. Uh, he doesn't have any eye guards, but he's probably 27, 28 inches, just a big slick four point. He's with a with seven other bucks, a couple of really good bucks in there, but this buck is really outstanding. Uh, we're gonna kind of wait around here. Hopefully he'll go and like, lay down in that canyon right there and then we'll we're trying to make a stock on him to see if we can get the job done, but he's a magnificent buck. Guy saw him during bow season, and so um, about a month ago, and so we've been kind of hunting this area and found him last night. It's just a slick four point. No cheaters or in lines or anything, just a big old typical buck. Deep forks in the back. Mike and Ike are turning up plenty of good bucks, but nothing worth racking around into the chamber over just yet. The next morning, Mike manages to stumble into a big buck bedded in a huge sage flat. This just goes to show you, you just never know where a big mature buck is gonna bed down. This buck has been living in this flat for the entire fall, and the glint of sun off his antler has finally given him up for perhaps the final time. After a 45-minute standoff, the buck senses something is very wrong and decides to stand up and make for cover. But Mike is more than ready. Yep, 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 yep. My gosh, folks, uh, what has it been? 45 minutes on these sticks. That buck's hiding over there in that bush. Finally, as the sun goes down, he gets up, looks around, big, heavy buck. Looks around and 150 yards away, crack pop. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good job. Good job. Oh, man. Oh, oh is he big? Look at this. Nice, heavy. Got eye guards, really good fronts. 24 inch main beams. He's a little light in the back as far as length, but look at the webbing on him. Big old mature buck webbed out here. Look at here. Six inches, five and a half around the bases. He's living out here in this sagebrush, folks. A lot of people go past this sagebrush country. Maybe go to Quakers or Pines, and these big old bucks are laying out here. This is a great buck, he's heavy. He's got really good fronts. He's got 23 inch main beams, really good G4s, and, and an old buck, big bodied. So I'm glad you came along with me on this uh, Southwestern Wyoming Trophy Mule Deer Hunt. I do this every year. Uh, it's uh, quite a hunt, and uh, I hope to see you next week on Eastman's Hunting TV. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. See you next week.